Welcome to the staff room, a place where you need to stop vocally calling the manager a nonce because his office is next door and the walls are thin. A room where Sandra and Andy are having a disagreement about the pronunciation of the word ciabatta. A place for loose talk, rusty forks and a birthday card that everyone needs to sign for Chris. I'm your store manager Rob. And I'm not sure I'm even here because I suspended this week for wearing another staff member's underpants over my trousers without their consent. <laughs> Again. Again. And this week, our checkout staff, the feckless layabouts, are Josh. Hello. And Tom. Hello. So, how are we doing, boys? Is it not cheer you better? See you better, mate. <laughs> see you better. <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. I'll see you better, mate. I'll see you in a bit. Because I've seen you looking better. <laughs> Ciao, <laughs> Ciao, batter. Because soon I'm the one that's not meant to be here, why the hell am I in uniform? Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, I mean. uh, dedication. Professional. Yeah. yeah. Cow butter. Probably up to something stealing it's from a different <laughs> branch. <laughs> What's cow butter? It's the correct pronunciation. <laughs> can I have some cow butter on my ciabatta, please? Cow butter on my... Can I have some ciabatta on my cow butter? As, a, as opposed to swan butter or, or, or frog? Uh, or goat's butter. Goat's butter, mm. real thing. Yeah. Lung, cat, cat, lung butter. Cat butter. Oh. Lung, lung butter. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. You just, just hack it up. <laughs> just, uh, spread that's it a on. new way of saying COVID-19, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, let, let's get Barry round and make a slip and slide. <laughs> <laughs> Once you've had your first 10 fag mix, you know about lung butter. <laughs> 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 oh, the right. good old days, mm. eh? Yeah. Mm, 10 fag mix. Who invented Where did I see some? Who invented a 10 fag mix? Was that you? Tom on a different podcast no <laughs> <laughs> sounds so guilty he's, he's saying truthful but his eyes are saying guilt <laughs> no no it wasn't me just stop oh, talking dear. about it no, alright no. <laughs> no 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 no, no. yes firm no Speaking of uh, no, I don't even know no, where I'm no, going. No, 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 <laughs> no, no. Kids don't do a ten fag mix. <laughs> yeah, put more in. Yeah. More tobacco. <laughs> put more tobacco. Not in. at prices at tobacco these days. Oh, you know, get the old. The, the old thing was oh, do banana skins and everything else. You know, cinnamon. What else was there? there was loads cinnamon of challenge. I've done the cinnamon challenge. No, no. Back oh. in the day, it's like, oh, you can smoke this. You'll get high off it. Oh, t- t- tea. Tea bags. Tea yeah, bags. Yeah. Anything. Yeah. Some lads in co-op got knocked back for fags. And I was just stood, <laughs> right, I, I was stood looking in the freezer for something for my tea. And this lad kind of just appeared next to me. <laughs> looking in, in the freezer for a sense of hope. <laughs> yeah, this lad just appeared next to me and he was like, you're right, mate. Um, you don't fancy getting us. If I give you a tenner, would you get me some fags? And I was like, have you just tried buying some? And he went, yeah. And I was like, and you've just walked over to me <laughs> on, on camera. You know, I'm doing it. <laughs> if, I, if I go and try and buy these fags now, you've not even offered me anything. You just said, if I give you a tenner, will you get me some fags? You know, the, 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 old, the old one, which was like, oh yeah, one for going. And you just, you, 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 just you, you give them one and take yeah, the rest. That's it, yeah. yeah. But I just felt like a knob. Like, at what point did I stop? Why did it become so uptight? I started <laughs> thinking about a big fine and stuff like, if I get caught. Yeah. It, I'll get a big fine. You, nothing will happen I, to I you. You're seen not that, seen that I was like, It's going to be a no, mate. He was like, yeah, no worries. Felt yeah, like not been asked to go in the shop. For yeah, years. No, exactly. But I was in the shop, and it's like all this is on camera. They probably can hear you. I think as well, uh, especially when we were in the ma- the first major lockdown, and they weren't checking as much, and everyone was wearing masks. But a field day for the seventeen-year-olds uh, that wanted to get booze, weren't yeah. it? Do you know what I mean? I can, I, I've been saying, um, like you know, you get to the self checkout, and then the thing goes off. And I'm wearing a mask, and a woman comes over and just clicks visibly over 25. And I think, yeah. visibly over 25, just my eyes. Stone. I've well and truly <laughs> fucked it. Now I'm, I'm, well over the, I'm well over the bridge. Got your own button for approaching 40. <laughs> yeah. <is> that one. <laughs> <laughs> Careering towards 40. Eyes first. I saw a story. <laughs> it just saw... says, don't serve him. He's going to fucking die early. I saw a story on Reddit yesterday. It was a lad uh, uh, was saying he'd, he'd gone to, he lived in like a small village where there's just one shop. And he went to the one shop and he needed to buy some condoms because, you know, he was going to get it on with this bird for the first time. He was really looking forward to it. He's gone to the shop to buy condoms and he was like, and just the usual person who worked there wasn't on and it's this old lady was on who, <laughs> who works there sometimes. And she started questioning him about whether he was old enough to buy <laughs> condoms, right? And then she started saying, and then she showed him the pack and said, look, you know, you're not as old as this couple. That are off. What, what would you say? They look, and he was like, you just look horny. <laughs> and then he said, but she's not, she knocked him back. And then he's, he got someone to go in the shop for him. But obviously when the guy went into the shop, the woman was just like, no. You know, you're obviously trying to buy these um, 
trying to buy these condoms for this for this kid who's tried to buy them. So the comments on Reddit were like, um, just go in with a baby in nine months. Yeah, like, that's your yeah, fault. Yeah. Good idea, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Sh- well sh- surely. Say hello sh- to your godmother. It's, it's yeah. not like they're going to go, oh, well, you didn't give me the condoms. I'm not going to shag her. Do you remember where Argos used to be in town down the side of Mackey's? Mm. Yeah, I once got ID'd in there trying to buy the car racing game Midnight Club LA. What? <laughs> I swear to God, I was about. Oh yeah, was, I was, was about 15? fifteen. No, it was twelve plus. Oh. <laughs> Do you know what I, mean? I mean, who, which, just because a twelve-year-old has, a, a has an identification <laughs> card with a date of birth on? Do you know what I mean? Well, and it's just that in the year twenty twenty-five. Well, yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, it'll answer. all be just be a chip in your hand by then. So yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. No, you just have a you just have your own overlord master following you around <laughs> everywhere. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> Some so guy in a trench coat, cheery overlord master, with a What's drone that? of a gun on it. What was that song? That's um. Dun, what dun, was that dun, song? Dun, 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 dun. It's, ru- <laughs> <laughs> it's uh it's Russian donk that, innit? <laughs> don't don't. You got Russian donk. Get the old um, Slavic squat on. <laughs> That's it, mate. Do you remember to put a donk on it? Mm. Do you remember uh, it, it? It took me. Year. We, we watched the um. You know, you get at night time, you get the um, the Stars. sign language, sign language yeah. person do, <laughs> yeah, yeah. do oh, the sign language. Yeah. Stars. So there was, you can find it on YouTube somewhere. If you look for put a donk on it, yeah. donk, <laughs> donk, 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 donk. They've got, you can they've find, got you sign can, language you for donk. You can donk. find the sign language for donk. <laughs> Joe, it yeah. took me years to, to, you know, to finally realise so when, when the bass dropped and they finally went, I could definitely drop to that one. It took me <laughs> yeah. years to twig that. Yeah, they're definitely not on a lot of they have glow sticks, the deaf person? Glow, st- glow sticks. Glow sticks. Did they have glow sticks? Glow sticks. Hold tight. That's how you use glow. That's the official sign language for glow sticks uh, put a donk on it donk, da, donk, donk. I used glow to DJ time. in a deaf club actually that reminds me it, it was called DJ Techno Notice <laughs> <laughs> so I once heard I don't know how true this is if anyone knows sign language get in but that's 16 in sign language what <laughs> something like that it's that <laughs> <laughs> there's a few yeah I'm 16 now <laughs> <laughs> guess what I've been up to how old are you <laughs> isn't it fucking lucky we started filming <laughs> no, do you know yeah. what I mean just have no context sign language yeah. is great for podcasts <laughs> <laughs> should we um, the sign language podcast 2021 <laughs> just stay this just all the way through <laughs> <laughs> oh, the old, the old wickedy mouth. I could never do Don't that. Don't do that. It gives you arthritis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all that lactic acid building up inside those knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> I've been palm shandy in for five years, so don't worry about me. <laughs> palm shandy. <laughs> oh, knuckle supper. <laughs> Should we see what's on the headlines? Josh? Yes, mate. Hello, I'm Joshua Bannister and welcome to the Middle Isle Supermarket News Suite. SARS in their eyes, Putin says no sparkling wine produced outside of Russia is to be called champagne. The moaning, the moaning Lisa makes comeback twice as furious villagers complain about four-day sex fest in Lincolnshire. You've heard about a rat up, rat up a drain pipe, well what about a diaper-wearing ferret up a particle accelerator? More on that later. <laughs> In boiling water, everyone can hear lobsters scream. UK to ban boiling of crustaceans and mollusks as they are sentient beings. And in the stores this week, in Aldi, Bubble One pits 89p. And in Lidl, adhesive assortments range from 99p. Oh, Yes. Boom. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> bubble Wand. Could have all done with one of them at 17. <laughs> 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 and, and like magic <laughs> <appearance>. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah so uh, yeah SARS and Rice Putin has come out and he's said SARS SARS yeah, is in SARS all, yeah. I you said that. yeah Putin says <laughs> um, that all sparkling wine produced outside of Russia cannot be called champagne what? obviously champagne is called champagne yeah, because it, it comes, comes from, from champagne, champagne <laughs> in France so he's just gone no we, you know on, only this I'm not going to attempt a Russian accent the uh, only uh, certain posh wines in Russia cool. can now be called champagne yeah well, Charming. you know, when you're that gangster, you can just decide what you want, can't that's you? It, it? Yeah. yeah, I saw that story somewhere. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So if you're listening, Putin, that's us getting wiped off the internet. Anyway, <laughs> the moaning Lita makes comeback twice. Yeah, so there's been a, a swingers and sex festival down in Lincolnshire. Saw so this and, as well and somewhere. Did you, and, yeah. the, and the locals, uh, the, the article actually said the locals are fuming about the moaning that can yeah. be heard Whoa. for years round. Nice. With, with a, what was it set now? A, a mobile bondage dungeon. <laughs> 
and, and BDSM, uh, be, be, BDSM lessons or demos or something. Lessons? Like, lessons. Yeah. I, I you, want you, some you just, you're thinking did, of BSM did, lessons. Did you just keep... <laughs> Is that Blackpool School of Motor? <laughs> it's, it's like driving lessons with bondage. <laughs> or BSL well, lessons again. Yeah, there's loads of people getting rear-ended. King, kinky Dave. <laughs> Start yeah. with Kinky Dave. Just in a full leather. Pull out, pull out, pull yeah. out. Got... <laughs> God. Yeah. Just, yeah, just reverse it in slowly. <laughs> Let me see you back onto this one. Anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, as well, um... Give it full lock. <laughs> Oh, bang it on. Fuck you, no. Oh, fuck you. We've been in a relationship for 20 years. I'm sticking it on auto drive. <laughs> oh, slip it into third. Fuck it, the mechanic will just do it. <laughs> yeah, I think your clutch is gone. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it smells, it smells oh, like it. A burning <laughs> clutch. Oh, God. It's going to need a set of new tyres. Oh, <laughs> anyway, so yeah, uh, you've, you've heard about a Ralph drain pipe. <laughs> Well, what about a diaper-wearing ferret? So anyway, this happened in the 1960s, but they've just released an article on it this week. Obviously, there will have been a record of it back when, but I did see it this week. Um, basically, in down south, they come up with this particle accelerator that they use to obviously smash in particles together and seeing what happens in the name <laughs> of science. Anyway, we love they, science. They, they couldn't understand why there was a bit in this particle accelerator which w- it basically wasn't turning on because they had this little gap where they needed to put stuff through, but then they realised it wasn't turning on or doing something because it wasn't airlocked. And it was obviously, they couldn't p- put a device down it because they didn't want to damage the insides. And they, obviously no human could fit their arm down it. It was that small. So anyway, in comes Bob. Bob's one of the, just like the, the golfers on the shop floor. And he just goes, I- I've got a ferret. I'll shove me ferret down it. <laughs> So then, dude, seriously, was it was it from Yorkshire? Yeah, yeah probably. Yeah, they're they like, just have oh, it down his trousers, <laughs> a ferret so, and whip it. So, they, so they've literally he's brought his ferret in, but then they've realised like what if if the ferret shits while it's down this particle accelerator, <laughs> they're gonna get you know negative results. So anyway, <laughs> they toyed with the idea. They toyed with the idea this of loading really it with laxatives, right? And anyway, they've decided that was unethical and there's pictures of this. So they strapped a diaper to it, a nappy, and just to <laughs> shove it down this particle accelerator, which would then create an airlock and just pull it out afterwards. So in the name of science, yeah, the ferret's fine. No ferrets were harmed in this process. But I yeah. got a minute. That, so they've spent billions on a yeah. particle accelerator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, they're, sort, they're, they're trying to day, fix but, yeah. it with a ferret and a nappy. Yeah, and I think it had, in those days, I think it had, if I remember correctly, I'll have to double check the article, but it was a £500,000 budget and that's in the early I think it was 1961 so it's a hell of a lot of money do you know what I mean yeah but the ferret ferret was cheap yeah (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) they run out of money to do anything else like well last last chance lads I've got this ferret old school (laughs) solutions to modern day problems that's it yeah Yeah. stick a ferret up it bang a ferret up it yeah and and, 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 and as well um Div, the UK may be passing a bill uh, which came out this week which is trying to uh, officially recognise crustaceans and, and mollusks as sentient beings so we'll no longer be able to boil them a- yeah, alive. Have they not, not recognised all animals as sentient is beings? It? Or something something like, now, well, I've just seen, they, this, seen this this week but I think, is it you who said to me before Obviously, when I was veggie, one of your things was, well, they've actually found is it certain types of mollusks have yeah. shown to have more intelligence than plants, so where do we... Or less well, intelligence, no, sorry, less plants intel- have yeah. more intelligence, so where do we yeah. draw the morality line? Yeah. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So we're going to stop boiling slope. lobsters, but we're going to continue to electric shock to death all the cows on the planet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and make kids mine cobalt in the Congo. Yeah, yeah, why not? <laughs> but yeah, so uh, that was the news this week. Oh, in the uh, assorted... Uh, assorted adhesive assortments. I said assorted. Assorted adhesive assorted 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 yeah. Well, to be fair on the uh, crustacean things, um, I've met people who are, uh, <laughs> <laughs> are, are, are less sentient than some lobsters. More crustaceous. Yeah. <laughs> you just see a world. It's all those pricks who walk sideways out of walkabout. <laughs> yeah. We're all these, all, all these dickheads who are, you know, booing national anthems and stuff like that is going on at the moment. Like, God's sake. I'm so, allowed to swear on here, Al. Two world wars, one world cup, mate. God again. God. Yeah, I... <sighs> Um, but do you know what? I watched the uh, I watched the match the other day. I haven't really watched any of the other. I watched the first one. Watched that the other day. Great, performed well. I enjoyed watching it. And then the next day, saw the news like with the late pointing lasers in the, yeah. the yeah. keeper's eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And booing the national anthem, setting fireworks. And you just think 
you're a fucking disgrace. Yeah, yeah. but that's you're an though. absolute disgrace. But have you seen it, it, the way the Italy fans had behaved though? They, oh, they're, they're well, equally yeah. equally as bad. Like someone someone got run over uh, <laughs> with a scooter. Oh, um, oh, I lost that in the car. Right, video some some young bird getting getting groped <laughs> or jumping all over cars. The, the lethal Ab- Ce- absolute Celtic played. Oh, I can't penises. even remember who it was. It was Lazio in, in Italy. They played them last year, and uh, Lazio are having well known for having quite a hardcore like right wing standing. And anyway, Celtic didn't really, nearly, didn't really help it. They took a massive banner that said, hang with your leader and added a picture of Mussolini when he was hung like that. Seriously, but before the game, before the game, they've travelled over to Lazio. Before the game had even started, before that had even been seen, three Celtic fans have been stabbed within like the two hours of arriving to the ground. It's, it's just a side well, of shit you don't need. Hey, we'll let's all have a good time. Yeah, anyway, yeah, <laughs> smash a pack, Final of the Euros there. today, anyway. So, yeah. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah. yeah, do a goal. Well... <laughs> Uh, have you ever seen that video <laughs> where it's like the difference between American chants and English chants? And the American chants like, I believe that we will win. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's like, Gary Lineker, he shags Chris. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, it's just, yeah, yeah. It's quality. Yeah, you can't, I mean, you obviously can't tar them all with the same brush. No. It is just a small number a of morons. Number. Knuckle dragging Very large. Morons. Yeah. I, mean, yeah. I don't think it's a large number. I mean, no. think about how many football fans of our out there it's yeah um, exactly you know especially yeah. when you've got a stadium of 60,000 do you know what I mean yeah, yeah. 55,000 of them probably aren't no beds you know what I mean yeah I yeah. disagree <laughs> oh, you think they, they all are hi Tom I think 95% of them are <laughs> dear if Tom if you take Tom the percentage of our if you if you just expand from football fans to everyone in the UK what about everyone in the UK Tom general public yeah just everyone 99.9% Pricks. Yeah, dear, yeah. dear Tom, I went, I went to the me. England game this week and my boyfriend booed the national anthem. Should I stay with him? Or should I Absolutely not, Joshua. Yeah. Flower. <laughs> Flower pot. <laughs> you fucking plant pot. No, yeah. sorry, you need to stop that. Shall we, um, we have a look into some uh, agony ant? Yeah. Oh, yeah. that sounds interesting. Yeah, it was. Um, He's got a magnifying glass. Ask, ask Tom. What was your section called? Fucking stop it. <laughs> yeah, don't, Whatever you're doing, stop don't it. Don't do that anymore. Don't do it, yeah. <laughs> yeah do it. All right, here, yeah, Tom. Yep. <clears throat> this is from uh, the Dear Deirdre. Andy Trick. I've gone off sex since the birth of my son, but my partner can't get enough. The only way I can get in the mood is by thinking about the footballer Andy Carroll. <laughs> what? I'm 22, <laughs> no. engaged, and have a baby boy. I never want sex anymore, but I've found that it works if I think about Andy and his ponytail. I've never met him, but I can't stop having sexy dreams about him, and I'm worried it will affect how I feel about my fiance. <laughs> how can I get this man out of my head? Start a Sunday league squad. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only solution. <laughs> and everyone's shirt has Carol on the back. <laughs> Men with... Ponytails, yeah, just the, men with ponytails. The Sunday Carol, top not FC, <laughs> top not FC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, start our Sunday league team. Right, and stop, it. stop it. <laughs> just fucking stop start it. Start it and stop it. Here's one from the Observer's Agony Aunt Victoria. Dear Victoria, just imagine it says Tom there. Dear Tom, my flatmate keeps borrowing my watches without asking. I find this very annoying, especially when it's the Breitling. <laughs> which is my get lucky watch. Get lucky watch. But I don't want to seem tight. What, what like lucky, how, lucky man? <laughs> how, five, five five of of them. how can I stop him? It's time for change. Fix- <laughs> no, what's, 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 <laughs> what's the person's name? Dude, it's an L- anonymous. From Little Rob. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Little Robbie. What do you do? You h- hide your watch? Put your watch somewhere more safe? Put it up your ass. <laughs> Carry that watch up. Up your ass. Why do you walk around with a fist up your ass all day, every day? It's to protect the watch. <laughs> <laughs> plus, it, plus, it makes toileting easier. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why? Why have you? If you if your flatmates yeah. nicking nick your watch, yeah. why would you write into Borrowing. an ag- agony hand? Why don't you just hide it? Yeah. Whoa! Yeah. Just, I mean, right. is that is that you know work smarter, not harder? Yeah. That's it. Yeah, it's a bit easier than actually writing in somewhere, isn't it? Here's, here's one, Tom. 
Uh, I'm 43 years old. My wife believes that I'm having an extramarital affair, but it's not true. Every day she applies nail polish on my penis to check if I'm being unfaithful. I feel a burning sensation and it hurts me. Please help. That is not real. Whoa. I that... thought this was an episode of Sid the Sad Onion for a second. <laughs> <laughs> there is no way that's a real story. No. No way. <laughs> no. What the one about fantasizing about Andy Carroll after you do <laughs> It's a little bit more believable. <laughs> so she's putting Nail polish on your penis. On his dick, yeah. To see if it's not there at the end of the day. I don't know. What I would do... If I don't I think she knows how nail polish it works. It wouldn't dry, it. would it? Um, yeah. Yeah, surely. It, it doesn't have to be on Just the nail to Just leave that out dry. for 45 <laughs> seconds to a minute. Right. Caught, caught your red knob. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that better be bollocks, that. If I was him, what I'd do is just go out and have an affair. Video it and go, there you go. Yeah. yeah. Right, you were right. Oh, yeah. You know, you can see a you fanny's were, all covered you were, in red you nail polish. You were right, but now you've pushed me into doing it because yeah. you're so annoying. Yeah. yeah, I think perhaps you should take over this section. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got anything more? No, that, 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 that was that that yeah, last one. Just thought three would be good. That, had, that really was agony. Nice, nice number, isn't it? Have you had any uh, contacts I've said this week? Certainly have. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, my name is Sid Onion. Now, regardless of what you may believe, being an onion is not all creating the base of a sauce and hanging out with fennel. <laughs> <laughs> when you've spent a lifetime making people cry, it has a profound effect on your own mental health and well-being. It impedes on the pro- positive energies that my chakras are trying their best to emit. Know what I mean? Anyway, picking up where we left off, you may recall myself, my cousin Grant, and local chestnut case Johnny Conkers were about to go through the air <laughs> door to see to his disappearance. I passed him on the street, they took the hint to walk up, pulling up outside an Esto's anti-Florets. I'm pretty sure I see a curtain twitch. I hop out of the motor, meet Johnny and Grant at the foot of the stairwell, leading up to the flat. Right, boys, how are we approaching this? Grab the facker and bundle him in a motor, comes Grant's suggestion. I think you'll find there's a door between us and him, I point out as we make our way up the stairs. We'll stand to the side, Johnny, you knock. Johnny knocks a little rhythm out on the door whilst myself and Grant stand off just out of view. There's no windows down the, za- down the side, I observe, so unless he was twitching the curtains, we should be sound. Footsteps are heard, a latch, the door opens. Hello, love, is on near boot. Come in, a familiar voice rings out. And your two friends as well. It's Juliana, this is all getting really fucking weird now. Come on, Sid, Grant, I know you're there, there's no need to hide. We all oblige and go in. The place is dark. An incandescent glow is coming from a room at the bottom of the hall, which we ominously follow Juliana towards. Entering the room, we're greeted by an unfamiliar face. Unfamiliar to me, at least. Buenos dias, (laughs) Ceboya. Pastania. I assume... (laughs) I assume you're here for my nephew Ernesto. I assume he's already left. Grant quickly replies. Yes, he has taken off in the night. I myself only arrived in the early hours of this morning. (laughs) Undoubtedly with similar intentions, although mob-handed I am not. Very presumptuous of you. (laughs) Ha ha ha, presumptuous. If you knew what I knew and how I operated, Sid Onion, you would not be so quick to choose your words. So, do you have a name? Carlos. Grant interrupts. Correct, Mr. Shallot. Correct. I am Carlos Tomate, head of the salsa t- <laughs> <laughs> head of the salsa de tomato family. My brother's son is Ernesto. He has brought great shame upon our family. To you, Mr. Shallot, I offer my deepest sympathies. Ernesto's actions both here and back in Madrid have caused upsets, shall we say. Upsets that he shall now pay for with his life. I had hoped, Mr. Onion, that he would have made contact with you. But from what Juliana tells me, it appears he truly has no friends left. (laughs) I've said it before and I'll say it again, he's a right sneaky bastard. He knows I play by the rules. He wouldn't come to me if he was in trouble. I could feel myself starting to sweat. The room was getting stuffy. It wasn't just me. Where's the facker gone then? Grant says, in a manner that makes me think he's just thinking out loud. Not far. I put a tracker on his car. So where is he? He's at the old club. Right, what's the plan? Shit, that was the wrong accent. 
Right. <laughs> right, what's the plan? I only popped out for your paper. You should all know what it is you're dealing with. Ernesto has had his mind corrupted. Ha! <laughs> he couldn't corrupt that crooked bastard any further, surely. It is no longer just the ears that Ernesto kisses. <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard of the Onionati, Sydney? <laughs> <laughs> the rotten veg? Yes, I do not know if our present company is ready to hear what I have to say. To be continued. <laughs> the Onionati. <laughs> the Onionati. The Onionati, yeah. The Church of Onionati. The all crying guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's, uh, he's getting into some dark circles, isn't he? Deeper and deeper. Way, it? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. deep. Darker than your eyes, Al. Yeah. Not that yeah. deep. Not quite Not that, that deep. deep. <laughs> Satanic Don't be ridiculous, Rob. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous with your talking onions. <laughs> It was took one step. Always one step too far with you, innit? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dearie me. Ooh, I just squirted myself in the face with that bloody water then. <laughs> oh, Excellent. Well, well, well nice what we'll do is, um, in between recordings, we'll try and teach you out to drink from a bottle. <laughs> if, you, if you could. That's, uh, it's kind of what you start drinking from. I mean, you got you got a nipple and then a bottle with a nipple on it. Yeah. So, yeah is, this a diff- is this a different uh, Woodgate that you're on here? Yep. That's the good stuff. Woodgate What's Cider, that? endorsed by Tom. Oh, you're on the scrumpy. You're on the scrumpy. <laughs> scrumpy. scrumpy. Oh. What's what's the difference between a scrumpy and a and a normal? You only need three cans you of scrumpy to be <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, you, you, you only need three cans to twat your missus. Woodgate darker fruits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's good for twatting rabbits. <laughs> What's the um, the one they do? At, is it Lidl? It's the vintage cider that's like nine percent. No, they sell Henry Weston. Henry Weston. Yeah, that's yeah. not Lidl thing. Is no. it not a Lidl? No, they no, just sell it bro? cheaper than the shops yeah. as well. One pound forty. It gets you tanked on it. It's good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's eight percent. Yeah, it gets you a liver replacement a few years earlier. It's good when you're alcoholic and you're running out of money at the end of the month. <laughs> three for three for a fiver. <laughs> Actually, if you got a Lidl, it's four pound fifty because the one fifty is shot. So. Well, there you mm. go. Co-op, Drink, four for seven quid. Drinking through a straw goes to your head quicker than that. Yeah. Upside down. Yeah. I understand. remember I remember one day we went to... Uh, Spinning Ke- around. Went to Kendall Calling. I can't... Was Eddie there? I don't know if there was a few of us there. Anyway, we got Pally with these... Uh, because you know, you're all camped together and stuff like that. And then this other like group of lads that were next to us uh, from down south. So we're obviously having that rapport. You know, They were giving us all the northern shouts. We were giving them the southern set of shouts. And it was really good. It was healthy banter. Got on with them really well. Top you bunch of lads. don't like gravy. You don't like gravy. <laughs> <laughs> but then get this, right? One night, one of them had had too much to drink. And he would just turn into a... Fu- was it too much to drink or drink well, hey, this <laughs> yeah. is what i'm getting he, at he had a drink this is what i'm getting at so anyway he, he flipped out started he was like oh you you fucking northern monkeys and all this lot and he was honestly right he was giving Ooh. us grief so anyway i know so he's he's gone all right i'll take any of yous then like in, in a drinking competition he's not oh, only, right, but, not he, but he's being aggressive with it yeah so i've been like all right then mate let's go so anyway he's we've got uh, like, like a beer bong like why did funnels. you turn into a cockney yeah. when you said let's go <laughs> all right mate let's all go right. you know give it a, give. anyway so we've got one of them <laughs> beer, bo- beer bongs you know the, you did the funnels with the tubes on yeah you drink through them so anyway he, he, we were going to just put loads of booze in this in this thing and then and then whoever drank the most that was the competition done so he's gone up and he's poured a full bottle of red wine into it right and i was thinking you know fair play that's mm. a bit of a schlep that so anyway, he's chugging it, he's chugging it. He gets it down and he stumbles and all that. So I just looked at Eddie. I think Nappy was there as well. I've just been like, catch my legs. So anyway, I jumped up. I've done a handstand. I've been like, all right, put, put it in my gob. Put the tube in my gob. Throw everything in. So I'm necking it, doing a handstand. I stand up, collapse into the tent, right? <laughs> but next to where I fell was his empty red wine bottle. I've picked it up, like, not, not to throw it at him, but throw it near him as a bit of a laugh. Smelt it, and it fucking filled it with vimps, old mate. No. Oh, what a bad guy. No. I could taste it, honestly. And everyone's like, ah, do you know what I mean? So not only did he get B, he tried to rig the competition. Yeah. So that's what you get for Southerners. When you think you can drink, leave it to the good boys. <laughs> what a sausage. Yeah. I ended up in hospital last time I drank through a beer bong. <laughs> what, what, what were you drinking, bleach? Yeah. Everything. Oh, was this when you went to? Just... Was it in Preston as yeah. well? Were you in hospital in Preston. Yeah. Oh, what? good time. I went. I went to Preston to a party, and I woke up on my couch in Blackpool. 
via Preston Hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Just after. Well, do last do thing you I remember, remember much of that? I remember night. drinking through a beer bong, which was yeah. on the wall, and people right. pouring shit into it, and yep. then. From what I'm told, I just fell backwards off my chair outside, <laughs> split the back of my head open. Really? Paramedics came, took me to the hospital. Mum was called to come and collect me from Preston Hospital. Nice. Three in the morning or whatever time it was. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't stay in the car. Kept taking my seatbelt off and trying to get out. Policeman had to restrain me into the car. <laughs> and I just woke up on the couch with one of them little cardboard trilbies on the floor. To, oh, to cardboard skew it. trilby. And what felt... I know what, exactly what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> what felt like a three-inch scar on the back of my head, but it was just where they'd glued it together and yeah, the, yeah. the glue had dried. But it felt like a scab, like a yeah, big yeah, fucking yeah. cut. And I was like, wow. Yeah. Good night. I had done a beer bomb. Vienna. I reckon we should buy one. I don't recommend it. I got a phone call years ago yeah. about eight o'clock at night, and it was Rob uh, on a, a random number. I didn't know. All right, Al, it's uh, it's Rob. Like, yeah, mate. It's like uh, I'm, I'm in Manchester, what, right? Um, <laughs> I, 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 everyone's gone. Like, what? No, it's like three in the afternoon. Yeah, it? yeah. It was like it was, it was getting towards the evening. I think you're like, can you come and pick me up? I'm like, yeah. Where are you? He's like, I don't know. Is this I'm when like, you'd have been partying and missed like, the train back or something? So like, Rob, like, you've, no, you've got no. to give me a little bit more than that. It's like, I don't know. I woke up in a garden. And I, it's I don't the same sort of thinking yeah. of. I'm getting yeah, I woke up in a garden in Charlton. Can you come pick me up? Like, yeah, I'll come and pick you up, Rob. But where are you? It's like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that was it. Woke up in a garden in Charlton at about 10 in the morning, trying to get into the window, trying to get into the window of this house. There was a dog on the other side barking at me. Yeah. And the next thing, a car pulls up and this guy's like, yo, what are you doing? And I went, my friends are inside party. He went, the fucking not yeah <laughs> this is my house went, no no my friends are... no listen mate your friends are not no you better fuck off now i'm gonna phone the police <laughs> no. so i just went which way is the met which way is the metro and he just yeah. went that way and then i walked for hours it was like proper hot yeah i stopped at a that's Wev- grim that, stopped yeah. at a weatherspoons to have a shit um Tried to get a pint. Only thing they go for. <laughs> shit pint. Went, went, went into the toilet yeah. did the business walked out went to the bar and the barman just went no mate <laughs> <laughs> so then I've, I've managed to Jesus get Jesus Christ you know it's bad when you get knocked back from spoons, spoons. Yeah. <laughs> managed to get the bus I got the bus to um, Oxford Road like my sister lived just off Oxford Road at the time and then I went down all these because I didn't know exactly which house it was so I went down knocking on all these doors <laughs> no. the three girls live in the bottom fly here mate <laughs> like anyone was just going to go oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah come yeah, in mate go yeah. In. Yeah. 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 you don't sound yeah. like a right predator yeah, so. it's alright one of them's my sister <laughs> that makes it even weirder mate so <laughs> So I went, I went to this pub across the road, um, pulled up a stool there. I only had £7.50 on me, so I spent that on Stella. Uh, <laughs> a wise choice. Yeah, yeah right, I used the barman's phone, because I didn't have my phone. I didn't have my, well, I didn't have my jacket. I didn't really realise that until I got off the train later, because the barman, event, after using his phone, so I rang Al first. Al was like, I don't know where you are. I don't know why I couldn't have just asked the barman where Yeah, I was. you probably you know could I mean? have, yeah. Um, I was a fucking mess. Uh, and then I rang my mum to get my sister's number, rang my sister. She was in Liverpool with all the housemates, so that was out the window. Um, and then the barman went, listen, what I can do is I'll give you this £1.50 and then at least you can buy a train ticket to get from like Oxford Road to Piccadilly and then you're on the train line, you're through the barriers and you can just jump the train back to Blackpool. Yeah, decent guy. So that's what I did. Um, and then gave my name on the train on the green ticket as Stephen Merchant <laughs> and then <laughs> gave my name at the barriers in the train station in Blackpool as Ricky Gervais. <laughs> so it's, it's a guy went, right, I've just read this slip and uh, I'm following the police. So I just jumped over the barrier and then walk, <laughs> walked to Al's house. Because at that point, I was like, shit, I haven't got my jacket. I had my keys in it. Keys, my yeah. phone was on charge in Blackpool at my house. So, no. I so you get, just left I'd, without it? I had, to get, I had to get Al to give me a lit. Well, I don't know where my jacket was, mate. I had to get Al. Yeah, I'd left, I'd left Blackpool yes. without my phone. Yeah, we so you were already, already steaming. We were already steaming when, when right. we left Blackpool. Yeah, we, we'd yeah. gone to find an illegal rave on Snakes Pass. But by the time we got there, it was pissing it down with rain. So we ended up in a few house parties in Manchester. I think I got us kicked out of at least two. Um, Don't sound like you at all. No, no, yeah. <laughs> so then boom, back, back to Blackpool, then I've come come to your house and you give me a lift right my landlord, just turned up at my landlord at 10 at night. <laughs> I was like, knocked on the window. Hiya, he just sat watching TV. His missus are like, dude, I need a, I need a spare key. Combined to like stupid amounts of missed calls and texts and stuff on my phone where my phone was just on charge on the couch. What an adventure that was. Woohoo. Drink, well, it makes life better. <laughs> it numbs the pain. Yeah. Do you know when um, <laughs> when coffee was like and caffeine was f- first introduced, um, people realised like that obviously it made you a bit more alert because but back in the day then a lot of people used to drink ale. 
because it was boiled. So it was actually better for you than most of the water that was kicking mm. about. And I'm sure this is late 18th century. They started developing, uh, we started putting up coffee houses in London. And the ruling classes at the time actually campaigned to get the coffee houses shut down because it was making the citizens too alert. They preferred everyone just pissed up, loosely pissed. You know, to Why not? Them. Yeah, well, you yeah. know, a dumb society is easy to control. That's it, don't I mean? But as just... a society full of people stoned than a society full of people on speed. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Do you think? Get things done know. three times as know, fast, yeah. but less efficient. You can really, really <laughs> seize the means of production, can't you, with a bit of speed? <laughs> You just have just have a year where you just put LSD in the water supply. But there's a, there's a reason why speed's kind of fizzled out and weed's still very much around. Yeah, if not more than ever. Do you know Aldous Huxley wrote Brave New World and Doors of Perception and all that? Mm. He, uh, when he was dying, he got his missus to administer two yeah. massive doses of LSD to him. That's the way to go. So just go. Just go said, um, Liam like Gallagher it. said that as well. Pardon? When I'm going, just whack me with a big dose of mm. LSD. Yeah. Have you seen um, in? In the past, they've had things where there's been like some dodgy bread gone around. Oh, yeah. And it's like made like. We've all shopped at Farm Foods. What about all the, dance, the, the way dancing through, crazes? Through, 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 yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah, the dancing, dancing crazes like that, yeah. in like France and, and different parts of Germany. Well, like, the, like uh, old TikTok. Just, just people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Medieval TikTok. Just, just, eating, <laughs> just eating your mouldy bread and getting right <laughs> off it. The, the, so they had like outside these churches. I can't remember where it is. It might have been, for some reason, I wanted to say a village in Germany, but there's been multiple ones. In the 16th century, they had like just like 200 people just started dancing in this village. And they reckon, yeah, it was due to the Urg or something. Urg Grow, ergot yeah, that grows poison, on bread yeah. and then the other theory is it's like what Rob said it's just this mass hysteria of where people do it because it's psychologically active within the community do you know what I mean but mm -hmm. they're just literally just dancing but then what they did was to try and combat the dancing they thought it was the devil making them dance so they got a religious <laughs> band to go in play music for them to <laughs> dance to and try to get the devil written when actually they're just like please stop playing the music I want to stop dancing a tug of war true story <laughs> <laughs> a tug of war from between yeah. you know Satan and God yeah. well you know what we look back at things like this and go yeah. what a bunch of morons in a few hundred years time people will be looking back at things Hell we do Hell Skelter Energy 2001 like, <laughs> <laughs> bonkers yeah oh, look what's that what's that little tiny bread he's eating <laughs> <laughs> he's just at three <laughs> there's your holy communion yeah. <laughs> oh where's his chin going <laughs> right should we um, should we call that a wrap uh, yeah, call it um, a burrito if you want. Or a ciabatta. Hey! hey! Finish where you started or something like that. Right, dudes. <laughs> um, time to get on the shop floor. So goodbye from me. It's goodbye from Al. Goodbye. It's goodbye from Tom. Goodbye. Goodbye from Josh. Ta-ra. Take it easy. Peace. Yeah. I think that was good, that. Yeah, I think yeah. it was, yeah. Oh, shit, but it's resting you. Yeah. Fucking runny nose. I had a runny nose this morning. Oh, yeah. <laughs>